Hello and welcome to the Landsweeper terminology video. This is where we're going to explain some of the basic concepts of what make Landsweeper Landsweeper. Uh, starting with the scanning server, something you'll hear a lot and you'll see a lot in our documentation as well. Um, now the scanning server, what we mean by that, it's simply the machine or the server that you have the scanning service on. Obviously the scanning service is a Windows service that is running that performs all of the actual scanning. It goes out and fetches the data from the machines that you're trying to gather information from. Um, now, when we talk about the Landsweeper installation, we talk about all of the components that make Landsweeper Landsweeper combined. That means, as I just mentioned, the scanning server itself, but also the database where the data is stored. It can be the local on-premise web console and also the cloud hosted web console and database right there. Now, next, the agent, or you'll see it a lot of times referred to as Alice agent as well. In general, an agent, what we mean by that is it's a small piece of software that is installed on a machine in order to send information or data back to um, somewhere else in general. Now, in our obvious example, Alice agent is our piece of software that we use to retrieve information from devices. Um, in the Landsweeper case, we only generally use an agent when the device is outside of your internal network. Um, that's where the use case is most obvious. When we cannot connect to the device immediately, we can use an agent to send the information back rather than us pulling the information in. Now, Alice Agent is available on both Windows, Linux, and Mac. So regardless of what operating system you're running, you'll be able to install Alice Agent there and use it to retrieve data. Now, the last point I want to touch on is which LAN super components can you run on a machine? Um, so we have, as I mentioned earlier, the scanning server, the actual database, and the web console. You can run all three of them on one single Windows machine if you want to, or you can split them up however you like. You can have a machine for your web console, you can have a machine for your scanning server, and you can have a machine for your database. It all kind of depends on what your environment is like. Um, and also what your preference is and what's best for your entire IT environment. So that'll be it. To learn more, continue watching the rest of the training videos.